At the bottom of the Louragay Valley, deep in southwest France, a tune rings out across the countryside. It's the peal of flipping bells. The five bells of the saint rémy de la garde church welcome visitors in song, rung by Jean-Luc and his family. For several generations, they've been giving a new lease of life to this stone clock tower. Since I was 15 years old, I've not really had a choice. My father said, you have to go up there and ring the bells. Since then, I've been ringing bells for church services, weddings, christenings and so on. Marie-Ange is Jean-Luc's sister. She never misses a chance to come and ring the bells. I ring this one because it's the smallest. I can't handle the bigger ones. It makes a good sound, I like it. You can hear it right across the village and in the air. I like it a lot. I love it. Further down the valley in Montclar, the bells are also rung on big occasions. Rather than having a full tower, these bells are supported by a simpler bell wall, which is easier and cheaper to build. The Louragay Valley has the highest concentration of such walls in France, with brick being the most popular material for their construction. Over time, they've become an iconic feature of the land around Toulouse. Jean-Marc is also a bell ringer. He's one of the few men in France who still know how to ring the bells using a traditional keyboard. Such bells can be found here at the Saint-Hilaire church and at a few others elsewhere in the region. It's a musical instrument. From the moment that you become a fan of music and that you can play a tune, whether you play it on the piano, on the harpsichord, on a keyboard like this one, or on a great organ, it's all the same. Except that when you play on a bell ringing organ like this one, the entire region can hear what you're playing. From village to village, you quickly get a sense of just how many different bells there are in these parts. Now we head to Gers, using the path of the Saint-Jacques-de-Compostelle pilgrimage. Here, there's no church tower, but rather a strikingly modern twisted spire. Locals in the fortified village of Baron are all proud of their architectural gem known as a twisted steeple. Marc is one of the few to have the keys to the building. Even when he was a child, he would often climb up these steps to ring the bells of the Saint-Jean-Baptiste church. In the morning, we were told by the family to go and ring such and such a bell. If a man had died, we had to ring them three times. If it was the death of a woman, just twice. Because my father was so old, I used to come up here and ring them with my brother. He used to chase up here. It used to be a race. There are some 30 such twisted spires in France and a hundred across Europe. But this is the only example of one in the Occitan region. Legend has it that the wind twisted the steeple over the centuries, but the truth is more likely found in the hands of the carpenter who built it back in the 16th century. It's a real architectural feat. And at one time I think there was stiff competition between carpenters who all wanted to build a spire that was more complicated than the others, one that would be the most beautiful of them all. At the base of the Pyrenees mountains stands another fine example of a bell tower. In Campon, the church has a pyramid-shaped steeple surrounded by four smaller turrets. It's a particular style of ecclesiastical architecture. The shape is meant to mirror the cast iron cones used to extinguish candles. Following in the footsteps of her mother and her grandmother, Madeleine is the warden of this church. The first door is opened with this key, and then this one for the wooden door. And I always enter the church in silence and in reverence. It takes 120 steps to reach the inside of the spire. I'm impressed. I was looking for the name of the bells. Marise knows all about the history of the carpenters who constructed this steeple. 
They're known as Kago. The Kago were considered to be subhuman or outcasts. They were only allowed to work with wood or iron. They could mend chairs or work with stone. This village is surrounded by forests, so they worked with wood and they excelled at it. The Kago were lepers who were not allowed to live in the same part of the village as the rest of the parishioners. They were segregated in church and had a different font. You can see these pews have a different look. Well, these are the pews for the Kago. They couldn't go any further than this point here. From the Baroque belfries of the Pyrenees to the red brick Florentine towers, the church bells of this corner of France ring out the history and the pride of this region.